Hello, uh, we are now talking to Mason Florence, Executive Director for, the Mekong, for Mekong Tourism. Mekong Tourism is doing now its uh, annual travel forum. Can you tell us about the outcome this year, what, what is the target, how many participants, and what is the main topic of it? Sure. Uh, well, it's an annual event. It's called the Mekong Tourism Forum, and uh, we've held it... Uh, it actually was originally held for 10 years, from, from 1996 until 2005. Um, took a bit of a break and was revived in 2010 uh, in Cambodia. We had it in Siem Rip in 2010. It was in Laos, in Pakse, Champasak, Laos in 2011. And uh, again, by the alphabetical rotation that we work with, with the Greater Mekong, it's Thailand's turn to host the event this year. We try to do these events in the emerging destinations of the GMS, not in the capital cities or the very, very touristed sites. So we've chosen... Uh, in conjunction with our hosts in, in the Ministry of Tourism, uh, Chiang Rai was selected uh, as, as the venue this year. Uh, Chiang Rai is, the, as you know, the gateway to the Mekong. It's geographically and, and culturally uh, really at the heart and soul of the region, so uh, we, we chose Chiang Rai. The theme this year, being that we're at a 20-year anniversary of the GMS cooperation framework, is 2020 vision, building on two decades of GMS cooperation. And we're going to be spending the first day of the conference looking back at the last 20 years to see where we've come what have been the achievements, what have been the failures, etc., and then looking forward to the next 20 years um, to try to map out where we need to be going for the future. We expect um, somewhere in the range of 250 up to 300 uh, participants altogether. This includes people from the public sector, from the, from the national tourism organizations and other ministries, from the private sector, tour operators, airlines, etc., um, development partners um, from the government aid agencies to, to PATA, Asian Development Bank, uh, UN agencies, etc. For the media, our friends like you guys will be up there, of course, and uh, consumers. And this year, we're also expecting um, quite a lot of students. So we've had some support from the universities in and around Chiang Rai. They're going to be mobilizing the young uh, kids out of the, uh, the tourism hospitality programs, etc. So it's quite exciting. It's a nice mix of people.